when friends came up um, the night before I got a call from him and he said hey there's another there's another extra opportunity for you tomorrow there's this new show it's called friends and you know it it, it, it might even go like six episodes <laughs> and um, you know if you want if you want like um, uh, I think it's like you get paid 40 bucks from you know background work I think that's what it was at the time and uh, and you get a free meal and at the time that was very important to me <laughs> 40 bucks and a free meal I'm like okay I can help supplement paying the rent and I don't have to worry about buying dinner so I showed up and ironically the, that same evening a friend of mine who was like tried practicing to be a stylist was like hey you want to like you wanna bleach your hair you mind if I operate on your hair and like make it white I was like, why not? I don't care. But I'd done that the night prior. And I'd had dark hair my entire life and never bleached it before. And I showed up the next day with this look. So it was kismet. It was absolutely just, I could not have planned it. So I showed up with the right weird hair. Um, they had no knowledge that I had any acting experience whatsoever. So I think that's where the kind of mythology is. It's like, oh, he was just this unknown kind of like sh guy schlepping away in a, in a coffee shop and he got plucked out of obscurity. I, I was prepared to have that opportunity, but the opportunity came from chance in many, many ways. I was really happy to be a part of this, just to be you know here for the fans and just witness it almost, just to see how much people were affected by the show and how it made people laugh everywhere. I hadn't had coffee in about a week and I came in today and I smelled it and I was like, well that smells really, really good. So I'm like, it's going to be a long day. Could I actually try one of these? And they're like, sure. So they made me a, a cup of it and so I've had about three or four of them today, which is unusual for me. But I never made an actual coffee. I never, never in 10 years did I make any real coffee from that machine. Did it um, work? It, the, the machine was not uh, operation because it makes uh, too much noise. You know, it's like the, when you do the steaming and stuff and it's like the sound guys would have hated us, you know, and so it would just make it impossible to actually shoot with a functioning machine. So they made, they made all the coffees for the main principal characters backstage. Um, craft service or props and they would bring them out and give them the real lattes and in the meantime I was with my back turned miming and making things and being very quiet and doing like this and boom and then handing another background performer an empty cup that they would mind drinking coffee.